Uh, just a couple of thoughts and some talent. Um, what did you think of Goldberg, who was pretty much a really hot character at that point? In I was complimentary of Goldberg. And uh, matter of fact, the first night I was at WCW, I pulled Diamond Dallas Page and Goldberg aside, and I said that they had inspired me in my training to make a comeback because of their intensity. I uh, told Goldberg, I wrote about it on one of my posts one time when I got offended by his comment relative to somebody asking him when he was a kid, he dressed up for Halloween as Ultimate Warrior, and he sort of mocked it and dismissed it. The truth was, ultimate, he was a mark for Ultimate Warrior. And uh, he was a teenager at the time. He wasn't even a little kid. But he didn't have the confidence in himself, uh, you know, to say that. And that says a lot to me. It, it shows a lot about the insecurity somebody has. When I was at WCW, I talked to him a few times when he was caught up in what the head games that Nash and Hall and Hogan and all those guys were playing, the big soap opera of it. And I told him, I said, look, man, I said, you have the potential to do incredible things in this business if you just keep your head on straight and don't get into all the mind games and the head games. Now who somebody else is going to do that? Right. In my shoes. Nobody. Not in this business. No, not in this business. And that's exactly what they were doing. They were effing with his head because they knew he had skills. They knew he had talent. They knew he could do something. And they didn't want him to just focus on that. They wanted him to mess with his head. Throw a little bit in the mix. And that's what the business is about in a lot of ways. Vince was always good about that. It wasn't just do your job and be productive and we'll leave you alone. It was always throwing something into the mix, you know, to mess it up.